Hello and welcome to the video Eclipse Connect to My SQL Database Server with me, Nam Haming from CodeJava.net. Through this video, I will guide you how to connect to My SQL Database in Eclipse IDE using the database development perspective so you can work with and manage uh, My SQL Databases without the need to use an external program like My SQL Workbench or My SQL Command Line Tool. And in details, I will show you how to download my SQL ZDBC driver, how to make connection to a database, and how to edit data in a table, and how to execute some SQL statements in the uh, database development perspective. And I suppose that you are using the following software programs Java Development Kit, JDK, Eclipse IDE for Enterprise, Java Developers, my SQL Community Server. Firstly, we need to download my SQL JDBC driver. So, using a web browser and head over to this uh, URL https double forward slash dev dot mysql dot com slash download slash character j here because my SQL JDBC driver is named as a character j. And here we are going to download the MySQL Connector J version uh, 8.0.22 here. And select uh, platform independent here to download a zip archive file here. And click the download button here. And click no thanks. Just start my download. And it is downloading my SQL connector J, my SQL ZVC driver. Okay, download completes and uh, click show in the folder. Here we have a zip uh, file for my SQL ZVC driver and uh, extract this zip file. Extract here. And you can see a Java file uh, named as uh, MySQL Connector Java version 8.2, 8.0.22 8 here. Uh, it's better to uh, copy this uh, directory to a separate directory on uh, my computer. Create a new folder, MySQL ZDBC. Paste here. Okay. So that's uh, for the downloading of my SQL ZBC driver. And this is Eclipse IDE. As you can see, I'm uh, using Eclipse uh, IDE for Enterprise and Java Developers here, version 2020.06. And uh, go to the menu window, uh, perspective, open perspective, as a, and choose the perspective name, uh, database and development here. And this is a database and development perspective that allows a programmers to work with uh, databases right inside the IDE. And you can see the database connections node here. Now right click, uh, new to create a new connection profile here yeah. and choose the type is MySQL here yeah. and enter the name for this connection profile uh, normally it should be uh, the database name you want to work with so here I am going to work with my DB database in MySQL and click next and in the drivers uh, section here, you can see it is empty. So click this uh, button to uh, specify a driver. And you can see the supported uh, drivers by Eclipse here up to version 5.1 here. But don't worry, choose this driver. And in the ZAR list here, click add the zip and uh, Pick the Java file in the MySQL JDBC driver in which uh, you have uh, downloaded uh, previously. 
let's create our ZDBC here and choose this ZAR file and remove this one okay and uh, enter the database URL and by default it uh, is uh, like this and we just change the database name mydb username provide username and password to connect to my SQL database and you can choose to save password then in case you have option of parameters you can specify here and then click the test connection button and you can see being succeeded here that means Eclipse have successfully connected to um, this MySQL database URL and uh, click uh, next to review the information summary here and click finish and you see the connection new connection profile we got uh, peers here click the database here schemas here database and you can see the tables in the database and in this uh, database i have only one table a product here and you can see the columns here and to work with uh, database uh, right inside the ide you can uh, right click on the table name and you can see the context uh, menu here and all that eclipse uh, that allows us to edit data in the table it doesn't allow us to create a new database or create a new table and similarly you can create uh, another uh, connection to another database so here create a new connection from the context menu here or click this uh, button uh, my sql here now i enter the name at uh, sales db sql next and uh, by default it we uh, select the mysql zdbc driver which we have created uh, before here and i just change the database name as sales db provide username and password save password and test connection being succeeded and click next to review the summary information finished so i have the second connection here for the sales db database schema database tables here and in this uh, database i have several tables here as you can see custom tag rows students yeah to view and edit data in a table you can right click on the table uh, data and edit yeah, you can see this table is uh, empty and you can uh, insert some rows into this table by editing the values in the cells of this uh, table for example student name is um, uh, me uh, and wrote that is this year that in time 2020 the november 27 uh, progress uh, 90 percent that's it and then you click the save button here and you can see it will execute the SQL insert uh, into statement here and you can see the message data successfully saved here insert one row here so in this uh, database development perspective you can also uh, edit the data to the uh, SQL result here now I'm going to insert a second row into this table Ravi Kumar 
กริสนะ Enroll date 2020 10 19 12 15 20 progress is 60% and then yeah, you right click uh, and click save yeah and you can see it also executed the SQL insert into statement here so you can review the executed SQL statements here easily okay and close this table and uh, view the data again and you can see we have two rows in this uh, table and to write edit and execute a SQL statement you can uh, open a new scrapbook here and uh, by default it we uh, select the uh, collection profile here and you can type a SQL statement here for example select asterisk from the table the students here and uh, to execute you right click and you can choose execute or uh, execute selected text you want to ex execute all uh, the content in this uh, scrapbook editor and you can see the result Yeah, the result of the select SQL statement here, two rows here, and I can write another SQL statement. And, uh, for example, select asterisk from students where uh, you can see it also suggests the condition for uh, SQL syntax here and to select a uh, student uh, whose uh, request is greater than 80% and to execute only this uh, SQL statement you select it right click and execute selected text here you can see it uh, returns only one student number being whose request is greater than 80 here and this is a status here and you can review uh, each uh, SQL statement individually here very convenient right so that's uh, basically how to uh, write edit uh, execute uh, SQL statements in Eclipse ID here, very convenient, right? And when uh, you finish uh, working with databases, you can uh, close the uh, connections here. Uh, right click, uh, disconnect. Uh, right click, uh, disconnect here. And uh, when you want to work again, you right click and connect again. You see, so Eclipse IDE as a database and development perspective uh, makes it easy to work, work with MySQL database right inside the IDE. So you don't have to use uh, an, an external program like MySQL Workbench or MySQL Command Line Tool. So far, you have learned how to use the database development perspective in Eclipse IDE to make a connection to MySQL database, edit data in the table, and execute a SQL statement. I hope you have found this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thank you.